Hi, my name is Thomas. I'm from London. Many people with mild asthma think it's a kind of nuisance but not really dangerous. The sad truth is that more than half of people who die of asthma have mild or moderate asthma. So make sure your asthma is well controlled. Hi, my name's Aaron. I'm from England. And the misconception is that asthma is only a wheeze and nobody ever dies of it. In fact, the truth is that three people die of asthma every day, sadly. Thank you. Bye. Asthma medications should only be taken during an attack. Quick relieving medications can be used during an attack. However, controller medicines when taken help to reduce inflammation in the airways and thereby prevent an attack. My name is Philip from Kenya. One of the misconceptions we have in the society about asthma is that it is genetically related. This, in essence, ignores the fact that there are so many environmental and other causing factors that unless addressed, the prevalence of asthma continues to increase in society. Thank you. Asthma is not contagious. 25, I play American football and I have asthma. Hello, I'm Tamsit from Bangladesh. Uh, there is a misconception about asthma in my country and that is it can happen to only older people and it has no cure. Actually, it can happen at any age and the symptoms can be well controlled with proper... Professor John Dickinson from the UK. There's a misconception that people with asthma shouldn't exercise or can't exercise particularly well. Exercise is a fantastic therapy for people with asthma. You would like to see reductions in asthma severity and the reduction in airway inflammation. In Palermo, we questioned the parents of children followed by our research unit. We discovered misconception. 47% don't know that stopping the therapy worsens asthma, and 63% don't know that cold air worsens asthma. Bye bye. Hello, my name is Serena and I develop asthma care and service in Korea. In my country, the misconception about asthma is that it is controllable only with oriental medicine. But the truth is, people with asthma should continue to use prescribed inhaled medication. My name is Steve from Kenya. There is a widespread misconception that asthma is a hereditary condition only. However, many other exposures increase the risk to asthma. They include smoke from household biomass fuels, tobacco and car exhaust fumes. Perineum from the USA. We have an asthma myth that the small amount of secondhand smoke which children are exposed to doesn't hurt them. The truth is, these children are two times more likely to be hospitalized for asthma. For more facts, visit www.ginaasthma.org. Due to cost considerations, I can stop all my asthma medicines when I'm symptom free. The truth is, Patients with asthma should not discontinue their controller medications even when they feel well, except they have been advised to do so by the healthcare professionals. Hello, my name is Letitia and I'm from Ireland. In my country, there is a misconception about asthma that it's a childhood related disease and that you can grow out of it. But this isn't the case. It's not a childhood disease and it doesn't get better without being treated. So if your child has asthma, you need to get it seen to and get help. My name is Aurora and I was diagnosed with asthma when I was young. After inhaled corticosteroid for quite a long time, it has been controlled. I can do all the sports, which has no difference with other teenagers. Hello, I am Dr. Angela Jennings from Barbados. A common misconception about asthma in my country is that asthma is a childhood disease and individuals will grow out of it as they age. The truth is, asthma can occur at any age, in children, adolescents, adults, and the elderly. Uh, hello, my name is Todor and I'm from Serbia. In my country, there is a misconception that steroid inhalers should be used in severe cases only, but the real truth is, steroid inhalers are the cornerstone of asthma treatment. Hello, my name is Milan and I'm from Serbia. In my country, there is a misconception about asthma that asthma sufferers should not exercise, but the truth is that Asthma sufferers should exercise and they can perform top sport. Hello, my name is Alexandra and I'm from Serbia. In my country, there is a misconception that asthma uh, affects uh, only children. But the truth is that uh, asthma can be uh, diagnosed at uh, any age. Thanks very much for helping us celebrate World Asthma Day by uncovering some of the myths that are surrounding asthma. We hope that you'll visit the GINA website at www.gina.org. Gina.
asthma.org. And if you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear them. Thank you.